Attracting and retaining shearers is a major challenge facing wool growers and the industry. The first step is creating a good work environment, which also has the benefit of maximising the efficiency of the shearing operation. Stuart Mitchell, my wife and I own Cashelvale. It's a 15, 16,000 hectare property situated about six hours west of Brisbane. We're principally wool growers. We run about 10,000 merino sheep and a few cattle, 400 breeders, but our core business is wool production. When we came here 25 years ago, it was a really good solid shed, had really good bones, but it was still stuck in the 50s. And uh, we could see a real need to try and bring it up to, to speed. Knowing he needed to upgrade the shed, Stuart started to plan a series of improvements to be implemented over a number of years, which he tested with his shearing contractors and shearers. We were listening to the shearers a little bit, you know, we were, we were trying to make it as good for them as, as we could, you know, we wanted to get good shearers back every year and the best way to attract the good shearers back was to have, uh, have good facilities for them to work in. We couldn't justify pulling it down to rebuild it, so, so we set about trying to modernise it and bring it up into, into this century, I guess. We uh, took the shaft driven gear out about 10 years ago and installed the overhead gear the biggest improvement we made pulling that old shafting out safety wise and efficiency wise and, and it's keeping the shearers happy. They're, they're running with really good smooth gear all the time. And the following year uh, we realised there was a light issue inside the shed so we decided we'd improve the lighting which which has been a big improvement. You know, previously we'd run the power down through old generator lines and unfortunately they weren't heavy enough to carry enough power and the rules and regulations didn't allow us to run new wire so we had to run underground power to the shed here. The lighting was a big improvement for the wool classes and the wool handlers. We've now got power in the sheep yard so at scanning time we can run ultrasounds and stuff in the yards with 240 volt power and not use generators so it's pretty good. The modular bins so that they can change the shape and the design of the shed it's been um, particularly important this year where we've got after a couple of big heavy seasons there's a lot of grass around. We've been able to put two tables into the shed so that the shed hands and the class have got more time to concentrate on getting that grass seed out which um, can be really important in a clip like this. Painting the shed white, well it looks nice <laughs> but the shearers always like it too. You know they say the light's a lot better and some of them even comment that it makes the shed cooler. There's good airflow in this shed anyway, like I said it had good bones in the beginning. Stuart recommends that producers looking to either upgrade or build a new shed start by doing some research on health and workplace safety guidelines, shed requirements and the latest innovations. Our business was, was undergoing green tick accreditation and part of the accreditation there was a very heavy occupational health and safety element and we started to look around the shed and realised there was a few problems here with um, you know, some bad exits like the, the loading ramp at the front and the, the actual entry into the shed never had railing around the side. So we installed a lot of railing, put signage up to make um, the shearers aware of what could be potential hazards. And other than that, I think there's just been improvements every year. There's been little, little bits and pieces happen every year, maintenance stuff. And, return on that sort of investment I don't think you know there's no monetary return on it that I can see but um, we get a really good job done here it's a happy shed and I'm sure we probably get a little bit better job done on our clip than people that haven't gone to the effort to do something with their sheds I, I guess the most important thing is to um, is to talk to your shearers and get them happy